Alright, so this is video two of my series on putting a new engine in my Hammerhead GT150 um, and probably the restoration of that. And this is the engine, Predator 420. Um, got it from Harbor Freight. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up here. Already broken the seal. So we have the owner's manual. Uh, you don't need this, this is optional. This is some hardware. So these are actually jets, and you'll see 3,000 to 6,000 feet. What that is, is that's um, based on your altitude. The engine was assembled most likely at a different altitude than what you live at, and so these are different jets to make sure that the engine is running good, um, and also the seal for the carburetor bowl. A little foam. And the actual engine. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. All right, so we've taken the engine out, taking some of the plastic off. Here you've got hardware for removing the spark plug. It's like a deep well, cheapy socket, and it's got some holes in a bar so you can move your spark plug. These are also the keys. This is electric start. That's a big reason why I chose this engine over the smaller Predators. How much was the engine? Uh, it was $360. And this is actually a clone of a Honda GX390. Um, there's a lot of Honda clones, but Predator seem to be the best. So this is the um, your ignition switch for um, starting it if you want to use electric start. It does have a pull start backup, um, so if your battery's dead or something, or if you don't want to hook up electric start, you can just run a pull start. What kind of oil are you putting in this thing? Um, 10W30, I'm mean, using full synthetic, it's the best stuff. Yeah, it's 13 horsepower too, so that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe to see more videos um, about this build. And um, like it, please. And um, comment if you have any questions.